As you guys can see, I am playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on the brand new Skyland Enhanced Emulator. Let's get started. Yo, what's up guys, it's Aprix here. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at a brand new Nintendo Switch Emulator. Well, it's not really new, but it is indeed a fourth version of Skyland Edge. This is known as Skyland Enhanced Edition, just like Citra Enhanced Edition. The customized version of Skyland Edge is here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at what's new in this emulator, along with that gameplay performance. So if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications and I'll put the channel to the creator of Skyland Enhanced Plus Edition in description box below so you can check out his channel. With that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, let's begin. First of all, this is my Samsung Tab asset. If you guys remember then, I used to film a lot of videos on this. It has Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor and 8 GB of RAM. And right here is the Skyline Enhanced Plus version. Uh, by the way, the developer has created two versions. One is Skyline Enhanced Normal version. And let me just go ahead and quickly open settings and show you guys what has changed. So we get the same theme as Skyline Edge that hasn't been changed yet. But if we just go ahead and scroll down in system, you will see use enhanced mode. I think that this is to replace dock mode option. We can also get the option to change API from Vulkan to OpenGL. So I'll go with OpenGL API and we'll see if it works or not. Afterwards, we have system language. Uh, if we scroll down, we get resolution scaling. So this is another option which is present in Yuzu Android but wasn't present in Skyline emulator. So we'll try 0.75x resolution and see how well does that work. Okay. Aspect ratio is device aspect ratio stretch to fit. Afterwards, let's scroll down. Uh, GPU driver configuration, as you know, you can import your custom GPU drivers. But if we just go ahead and scroll down, we get the option to disable frame throttling and also execute a slot count scale and flush threshold. These are normal Skyline emulator uh, settings. But if we scroll down, you will see force maximum GPU clocks and free guest texture memories. And if we scroll down, you will see enable 60 FPS option. So make sure to turn this on. This is an additional setting, brand new setting, which has been added in Skyline Enhanced Edition. Make sure to disable GPU subgroup shuffle. All right, guys, let's go back and try out some games. Right here, you can see I have added Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Red Dead Redemption. Let's start with Red Dead Redemption as this is the newest title, a uh, Nintendo Switch game. Amazing game, by the way. We'll see how much FPS do we get. There we go. Red Dead Redemption has successfully started. Let me press the start button. This game being a newer title, it still managed to boot even on normal version of Skyline emulator as well as Skyline Edge which is pretty crazy. Alright our game is about to start. There we go Red Dead Redemption 2 running on this emulator. Now I can't really notice any change in graphics resolution to be honest but uh, the game is working pretty fine and as far as I can see the graphics quality is also pretty amazing. This game is running on Skyline Edge better than Yuzu Android but there are some texture issues where the main character is blue for some reason. Well, I'm not gonna judge him for that. By the way, these games look so much better on tablet. On a smartphone, it's so boring, but on a tablet, this game looks really good. And what happened? He just fell down there. Anyways, now let's go back and try out our favorite game, which is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And I forgot that I had enabled dock mode. So I think the dock mode is enhanced mode. Uh, it has just been renamed. So we'll disable dock mode. And this time, Let's restart our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and see how well does it actually work. As I was saying, uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu should work pretty well considering the fact that this is a low end title compared to Red Dead Redemption and I can't really see any kind of texture issues. Just take a look at this, the game looks really amazing. Let's continue our adventure. Now I am using a custom GPU driver and just take a look at the FPS which I am getting. I would prefer to use an Mesa Turnip Adreno driver and I still remember guys a year ago uh, during this same stage we used to get about 5 to 10 FPS uh, while emulating Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu in any device for example I used to emulate it on my IQ7 Legend I used to get around 8 to 10 FPS but now the performance has been improved quite a lot it's a shame that uh, Skyline emulator developers stopped the project but Strato emulator is releasing this year itself so i am pretty hyped for that it should be releasing oh my god i just used the master ball on npg well rest in peace master ball <laughs> i should have checked guys anyways the game appears to be working perfectly fine no crashing issues no freezing issue no graphical issues whatsoever so would i recommend you guys to, to use this emulator the answer has to be yes and no at the same time it depends upon you if you want to use it use this emulator 
uh, if you prefer using the normal skyline edge you can do that as well so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys will be interested in using this emulator or not and should i create an skyline aptrix edition it's just a joke for now but let me know in the comment section down below see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out